What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Now, today I'm gonna be taking a look at something that's dear to my heart, and that is a Pokemon trailer for Pokémon, which is releasing a Pokemon that's dear to my heart, Blastoise. Now, Blastoise is joining Pokémon. I have seen images online, and from what I've seen, it looks pretty dope. Now, this is gonna be my first time checking it out and seeing how it looks in game as far as you know him fighting we only get 30 seconds in this trailer so hopefully what i'm gonna do in this video is kind of review it and give my take on like does this make me want to buy blast switch currently i'm not in on the pokin dlc because one it's too expensive and two they're just adding two pokemon and support pokemon and what costumes i want to see a bigger expansion or hopefully um what i'm what again what i'm hopefully is that later on down the line they will just have like a complete edition buy-in where you could just buy in and then have all of the waves that's coming through hopefully they do announce wave three and four at e3 or at a please a, a pokemon direct <laughs> come on um but let's jump into this trailer check it out and see how blastoise is looking inside a pokin dx on the nintendo switch so let's bring this up play again he looks amazing he looks pretty good Okay. And they got him fighting Charizard. Okay. What is that? Bubble? Alright. Oh, he make a ball. That's cool. I mean. I love Blastoise. I do, but, you know, maybe this relationship isn't working out, you know. I do like how the way, again, I like the way he looks. I like the way he's implemented. I love that they put his Mega Evolution. They had to because they have Charizard's Mega Revolution. Um, I, again, I feel like this is just like the yin and yang of um, Charizard. I said this when um, I first seen that Blastoise was coming to Pokin DX. I was like, I felt like this was just a way to again feed people who are nostalgic for that classic Pokemon game, who have a Nintendo Switch, and see Pokin and like, yeah, this is this is the wave, this is the future. When it it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like Pokin is the future of Pokemon. If it was, then we would have seen. And, I don't want to say more of it. I think they would have went harder with the DLC and gave us more Pokemon right away. The fact that they're just testing the waters with Aegis Last and Blastoise just to me proves that these were on the the you know the the table. They were like worked on before and they were just scrapped for time. And now they're like, yo, we got the time. We got the Nintendo Switch version. We're making every game feel like a service game where you're gonna get DLC, where you're gonna get extra content. Let's give that for Pokin and make it, you know, not Pokin 2, let's just keep adding characters, which they could totally do. They have like over 800 characters they could fucking pull from. So to see Blastoise, a character who's not, again, quote unquote, looks like a fighting guy. I mean, Blastoise looks like he punch hard. And he's a great looking character again to pull into, but he wouldn't be my first pick at all. There's tons of Pokemon that's not in Pokemon that can fit this build as far as being in the game as a fighter. And I don't know, especially with Gen 1, there's still tons of Gen 1 Pokemon that should be in this game. I can name, you know, Hitmo Lee, Hitmo Top. They're not in the game and they're fighting. He's got a boxer. Add the boxer to the game. Like, what? Again, I, I should do a wish list on Pokemon that aren't in Pokemon that I would love to see. Um, again, it looks nice. Kudos to anyone who's buying this, but I'm going to have to hold off until they make the package more prettier. When I say that, I want to see more Pokemon bang for my buck. I don't want to just pay for Aegis Slash and Blastoise and then have to pay again for, you know, Hitmo Lee and Hitmo Tom whenever they add them to the game and shit like that. So 
they're gonna just be pulling my money until eventually they're done or eventually all 800 Pokemon is in the game. But I would rather play the long game on this and just miss out on Blastoise while he's hot and potentially save money in the process. So let me know your thoughts on Blastoise. Again, I'm not rating this trailer. It was 30 seconds. I mean, it, it was cool, but it wasn't, it's not worth a rating for 30 second trailer. It's not, it's nowhere on the same level as an Injustice trailer or Mortal Kombat trailer or, you know, those character reveal trailers, which are just epic. So again, let me know your thoughts on Blastoise in the comments section below. Let me know your of this trailer. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. Like always, guys, you can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. I'm going to be doing a ton of these trailer reaction reviews. The best way to check them out is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction review.